Eric Harris with Protection Dog Sales, or as my friends in the underworld know me, Ghoul Hound Daddy 1-1. Okay, today I'm gonna take you through the haunted obstacle course that we have here at Protection Dog Sales. Starting with the entrance, we have these 14 inch boxes that you gotta jump up onto, onto our table with a catwalk. Now, the catwalk's not just catwalk, catwalk has a tunnel. So not only are they worried about their feet, they are worried about their wither height. Onto our suspended bridge. And then to our freakishly ghoulish looking weave of the five gallon water jugs. Down onto a super slick surface. And from that slick surface, the handlers can retrieve the dogs into obedience and get ready to enter the graveyard where Ernie here is protecting said graveyard. Let us walk. From the graveyard, the first challenge are pallets. These pallets are on blocks, so the dogs have the feeling that they could fall through, but they won't actually fall through. From the pallets, they jump down onto a cushion of straw along the floor and back up onto more straw along the slick, very slick table and down. Now one of the cooler tricks that we have here is as they slide down this table, there's a mirror that they see themselves in, but they cannot stop coming down this wall. So that's a trick. For sure. And then along our ghoulish route and back up onto more tables. <laughs> An obstacle of my own making. This challenges a lot of sensories, especially the hind end awareness and the leg acuity. More 14 inch boxes. Up, 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 deadfall. Table, down, down, down into our very own tunnel in the underground. As they surface from the tunnel, we have light. And from here, the obstacles get a little bigger through the wall, back onto more straw, little jump of faith to the ground, back up onto our A-frame. As they leave the graveyard, they'll see prior decoys who didn't make it at bike camp. We keep them here in memory of all our decoys. More jumps. These jumps are spaced so the dog can't just walk and step, they have to walk and jump walk and jump, and then our last big, long tunnel, a real test here at 14 feet in length, but that's what we do here at Protection Dog Sales to prepare our dogs for everything. Let it begin. Look at the way he navigates that catwalk right through, not phased by anything we have to offer. This little Doberman beast is definitely worthy of Cerberus's name himself. The jumpy spider merely is a friend to the young Doberman male. Okay, we show you this devil hound. Quigley von Proofenpudden. He's 11 month old giant schnauzer 
And may I point out, I don't see these guys in the underworld. What I mean by that is you don't see giant schnauzers doing things like this anywhere. Quite brave and strong. Or the afterlife focus is equally important. So you see with this young corpse hound, we have focus. You can see his enthusiasm when facing these daunting, slippery surfaces. The scary spider. Good. Amazingly tall obstacle for him. almost attacks these obstacles. Good boy, Corpse Sound. Like I said earlier, doesn't matter that they make mistakes. All we look for is that they keep trying. Very good. There's our first puppy corpse hound to complete the haunted maze. <laughs> Up onto the straw bells and through the wall. And up, over, and under. 